Hi there kids, it's me Miss Booksy. Aladdin is one of our favorite stories here at Quill School. Let's read it again and leave me a comment with a story you want me to read next. And here's where her story begins. You were expecting a boy, right? <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> now let's get on with the story. Aladdin lived with her mom in a teeny tiny house in the middle of a bustling city. Aladdin and her mom didn't have much, but they were crafty and made do with what they had. Right? Who needs money when you've got all this? <laughs> all what? See, I'm sort of an antique stealer. I sell fine wares and collectibles to the upper echelons of society. You sell junk. Okay, well, some might call it junk, but one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? <laughs> and on that note, time to go sell some junk. Super fine collectibles and treasures here. Come and get your super fine treasures. What's that? A broken clock? Yes, sir. And who wouldn't want the power to stop time? What am I supposed to do with one shoe? Uh, go find Cinderella. Aladdin stuck around, but nobody was buying. She was just about to give up when a mysterious man approached her. Excuse me, young man. <clears throat> er, young lady. What can I do for you? I can't help but notice you have some mighty nice things for sale. <laughs> Finally, someone with some taste. What if I told you I know where you could find some treasure? I'm listening. And it's free for the taking. All you have to do is go get it. Okay, I could be described as a go-getter, but what's the catch? There's a lamp. I want you to bring that to me. But the rest of the treasure is mine? <gasps> Everything else is yours. Hmm, let me think it over. Okay, you got yourself a deal, mister. <laughs> Please, call me Mustafa. So the mysterious Mustafa had told Aladdin where to go for the treasure. Awesome, right? Free treasure. But then Aladdin got to where it was hidden. Not so awesome. I have to go in there? Okay, you can do this, Aladdin. You got this. Uh, it's dark and it's stinky. I officially do not like caves, but eyes on the prize, Aladdin. Get that treasure, girl. Oh, ow! Oh, no big deal. Just a little scrape. Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like a, oh, a giant bowling ball. No! Okay, that's not normal. This might be harder than I thought, but I gotta get that treasure. See, not so bad. It's just dark and scary and possibly booby trapped. Uh, no big deal. Hey, what's that? A ring, awesome, shiny. I must be close to the rest of the treasure. Wait, what's that? Dynamite! I'm gonna have to jump. I made it, woohoo! And look! Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, wow! Cool! Oh no, got another booby trap. Oh. 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 No, 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 I'll never get out. It's too wide. I can't jump across that. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this cave forever. I can't believe I'm gonna perish in a stinking cave. A lot of good this church is gonna do me in here. Uh, hello. Uh, uh, who are you? Who are you? I'm the genie of the ring. What? The genie of the ring. It's simple. You found the ring, you rubbed it, and then poof, here I am. Oh, so what now? Don't you know anything about genies? You get a wish. A wish? Oh, wow, okay, let's see. If I could have anything in the whole world. Well, not anything. Like, you can't wish for more wishes. Oh. And I can't turn you into a princess or anything cool like that. Really? I thought genies were supposed to grant, like, any wish I wanted. Oh, so now you're a genie expert? No, I guess I'm just a little disappointed. Look, I'm just a ring genie. A ring genie is not on the same level as, like, a wizard or a genie in a bottle or a magic lamp genie. Those guys are the best. Oh. Could I wish for a magic lamp genie? No. Oh. Well, okay. A basic wish, then. Just a minute ago, you were crying that you'd never get out of this cave. Oh? So maybe that's a good wish? Oh, you're right. Okay, I wish I could get out of this cave. Wish granted. 
That's it? Well, now you can get to the other side. I thought it would be more of a poof, an outside kind of a thing. Nope, sorry. I'm just a rain, rain genie. I know. Well, thanks anyways. You're welcome. My work here is done. Oh, well, that was brief. Okay, I'll just gather up this treasure and go. So Aladdin took her treasures and made her way out of the cave. This time she was very careful not to set off any booby traps. I'm out, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Aladdin skipped all the way home, excited for all the treasures she had found. There were gold coins, jewels, and of course the antique lamp. It's late, I'll just go to sleep and tomorrow I'll find Mustafa. Aladdin slept deeply and peacefully that night. It had been a long day. But when she woke the next morning, she found all her treasure was gone. Oh no! Oh, there it is. Oh, phew, I thought it was gone. Where did you get all this stuff, young lady? I promise it's legit. I made a deal with this mysterious guy at the market. Okay, I realize how shady that sounds. Anyway, he told me where to find all this treasure, and he said that I could have it all except for this one lamp. <laughs> he wants that, family heirloom or something. I don't know. This old thing, it's all smudged up and dirty. I can fix that. There, just like new. Ta-da! Oh, wow, another genie, just like the one from the ring. Excuse me, I am not a ring genie. I'm a magic lamp genie. Big difference. Oh, I know. You grant the most magical wishes. Is she gonna be okay, by the way? Oh, yeah, she faints whenever she's surprised. I see. Now, what will be your first wish? Well, I don't know. See, the lamp belongs to someone else, so I guess he should get the wishes, right? Mustafa and I had a deal. Whoa, slow down. Did you say Mustafa? Yes, the lamp you popped out of belongs to him. No, 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 no. That simply will not do. Why? Mustafa is a bad guy, a villain, a ne'er do well, a big old meanie. He's evil. He seemed nice enough. Nope, wrong. I cannot permit you to turn over this lamp or me to that guy. Well,. Then I'd better wish to go far, far away because he's gonna come looking for me. Yes, but don't be hasty. Think hard about your wishes. You only get three. Three wishes, okay. What's the thing you want more than anything in the world? Riches, power, a super cool unicorn for a pet? Hmm. Hello, I've come for my lamp. You better wish for something fast. Oh, okay, I wish. I wish, I wish. Aladdin was thinking hard about her wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Come on, kid. I'm thinking. Hello, let me in. We had a deal. Hurry. Okay, I got it. I wish that I were a queen with a palace and a crown and everything. You sure? Yeah. All righty. Um, hello? Now is not really a good time for a nap. I'm granting the wish. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Let me in. Oh, do hurry, though. And pow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. You did it. Of course I did. I'm a magical lamp genie. Mustafa will never find us in here. Yay. Wait. Am I really a queen? You're wearing a crown, aren't you? <laughs> I am. Cool. Hey, you didn't change the rest of my outfit. You didn't ask, but don't worry. You're a queen now. You can order the finest clothes in all the land. Awesome. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to take a nap before your next wish. Granting wishes is hard work. OK, see ya. Huh? Where are we? Hey, Mom. Long story. So boys and girls, in just a matter of minutes, Aladdin went from being a poor peddler to being a rich and powerful queen. Pretty much anything she wanted, she could have. Yep, turns out being a queen is kind of like having your wishes granted all day long. Watch this. Ice cream, please. Pizza, please. Puppies, please. Yay, an ice cream pizza puppy party. Of course, being 
a queen wasn't all fun and games, it was an important job. Queen Aladdin did her best to be a good and fair queen, making sure everyone in her queendom was happy and carefree. I hereby decree that today and every Tuesday hereafter will be Taco Tuesday! That's right, all you can eat tacos all day long. And free puppies for everyone! <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs! Well, then you shall have a kitten. Yay! All, All hail, hail the, the queen. queen! All hail the queen! All Word of her popularity queen. soon All spread. Hail the queen. Well, well, well. Queen Aladdin, huh? Oh no, kids. Mustafa was on to Aladdin. Not to worry, though. Royal palaces always have high security. I need to speak to Aladdin. Don't you mean Queen Aladdin? Believe me, she's no queen. Show some respect. Aladdin is a common thief who stole something from me and I want it back. Queen Aladdin would never do anything bad. Yes, you hush up and go away. I won't give up so easily. See? But first, he would need a plan. Mustafa wanted to get into the palace to seal the magic lamp, but the guards wouldn't let him in. Someone else would have to go in undercover, but who? Hello, young man. How's business today? Oh, not good at all. I haven't sold a single thing all day. What if I told you I had a job for you? I can pay good money. I'm listening. Mustafa explained his plan to get the lamp from Aladdin. First, I dress you up in rich clothes. Then, I send you to Queen Aladdin's palace. You pretend to be a dashing prince. You woo Aladdin, yada yada yada, and yoink! You steal the magic lamp. But, but why do you want the lamp? Because it's mine, I want it back, and it's none of your business. Oh, okay. But whatever you do, don't rub it. Huh? It's very valuable, and it must be in perfect condition. Now stop asking me questions. Do we have a deal or not? Deal! So the next day, the peddler showed up to Aladdin's palace wearing his new princely clothes. He cleaned up pretty nice. So good, in fact, that the guards didn't suspect a thing. Hello, I'm Prince Rami. Uh, I'm here to see the queen. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Right this way. Your Majesty. What's up? Are you here to discuss the cupcake party this weekend? Ooh, what's that? Oh, we're having this party where we're going to decorate the world's largest cupcake. <laughs> Wouldn't a big cupcake just be a regular cake? Hmm, I guess you're right. <laughs> Either way you look at it, it's going to be a lot of fun and really delicious. Sounds like it, but that isn't why I'm here. No? I came to offer my hand in courtship. Huh? That's fancy prince talk. I'd like to take you out on a date. A date? Hmm, I've never been on a date before, but I guess it makes sense. I'm royalty, you're royalty, um, sure. <laughs> How about you escort me to the cupcake party? Perfect, it's a date. Cool, see you then. Wow, a date, huh, I wonder what that's all about. Aladdin decided she needed some advice. hey -o! what's up? You need a wish? More like advice, I have a date this weekend. Ooh, a date? How exciting, somebody cute. Yeah, and he's a prince, so I need to know everything there is to know about romance. Hmm, well, I've never been on a date because, you know, I live in a lamp. Oh, right. But I do read a lot. Let's see, what would Cinderella do? She got a new dress from her fairy godmother and went to a ball. Okay, let's get a new outfit. Two shoes, though. How are your dance moves? Uh, okay, sure. Now let's see. What about Sleeping Beauty? What worked for her? Well, she just took a long nap and a prince showed up. Right. Okay, so what about Belle? How did she find romance? She moved into a castle with a beast and they fell in love. Okay, weird. You know what? I think just be yourself and everything will work out. That's it? Or you can wish that it goes well and you get married and live happily ever after. Why don't we see how the first date goes and we'll just go from there. Good thinking. Meanwhile, Rami was getting some advice of his own. Bring flowers, tell her she looks nice, and ask her to dance. I'm a really good dancer, watch this.
Uh, okay. Anyway, while she's busy dancing, you sneak away and go find the lamp. Uh, and then you'll pay me? More money than you've ever seen. Awesome! Ronnie ran home, super excited to tell his family about his deal with Mustafa. They had fallen on hard times and money was scarce, but the lamp heist would change everything. Rami dreamed about all the stuff he could buy, but then he thought about Aladdin. He didn't want to steal from her. Stealing was wrong. But Mustafa did say the lamp was actually his, so maybe Aladdin stole it from him. But she didn't look like a thief. She looked nice. Rami didn't know what to think. He finally fell asleep and dreamed about nice things like giant cupcakes and dancing with Aladdin. And back at the palace, Aladdin was dreaming about dancing with Rami. The day of the cupcake party finally arrived, and Aladdin could not have been more excited. Hair, check. Outfit, check. Dance moves, check. Oh, Genie, this party is going to be a maze. Genie? Guess he went back to sleep in his lamp. You're gonna miss out on an awesome party, dude. Oh well, more giant cupcake for me. <laughs> um, sleep through a party? I don't think so, queen. Let's raise the roof. And uh, no one really says that anymore. Oh, <laughs> uh, they don't? Well, cut me some slack. I know, I know, hashtag lamp life. We look good. Party time. So yeah, Aladdin and Genie were pretty jazzed about the party. Rami was less excited. Well, he was excited to see Aladdin and excited to eat a giant cupcake, but he was not so excited about having to steal a lamp. Well, not steal. Return it to its rightful owner. That is, if Mustafa's telling me the truth. But how do I know I can trust him? Aladdin seems so nice. Okay, get it together. Deep breath, Rami. Relax. Hey. <laughs> Hi. So. Um. I want to check out the flowers. <laughs> Sweet. What? Thank you for the flowers. Let's go check out the cupcake. Whoa, it's so big. Told ya, we're making the biggest cupcake in the history of cupcakes. <laughs> Are you going to drink the world's largest glass of milk to wash it down? Ooh, that's a good idea. I like the way you think. Aladdin and Rami talked and danced and of course ate like a gajillion bites of giant cupcake throughout the night. They were having such a good time that Rami forgot all about his mission to take the magic lamp. Mustafa, on the other hand, had not forgotten. So I said to the baker, what do you mean you don't have giant sprinkles? You can't have a giant cupcake without giant sprinkles. I mean, that's cupcakes 101. <laughs> huh? Do you have something for me? A uh, cupcake? The lamp. Where is my lamp? I haven't been able to break away yet. Well, how about now? I guess... Rami, there you are. Drat, I have to hide before she sees me. Now go get that lamp. Hey, who are you talking to? No one, just some guy who thought he knew me. Well, it's time for the limbo contest. You in? Definitely. How low can you go? How low can you go? Okay, now where would I be if I were a magic lamp? Is that it? Nah, it doesn't look magical. But then again, what do I know about magic lamps? Rami, what are you doing in here? I got lost. Your house is so big. Right? I get lost in here all the time. <laughs> Come back outside because we're about to light the giant cupcake candles. Spoiler alert, they're actually fireworks. <laughs> Do you like fireworks? I love fireworks. Rami decided to give up looking for the lamp and followed Aladdin outside. Right? <laughs> yeah! Do you do stuff like this at your palace? My what? You're, you're a prince, right? Don't you live in a palace? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, we do stuff like this all the time. Oops, Rami had almost forgotten that he was supposed to be a prince. It was hard work pretending to be something that you're not. Little did Rami know that Aladdin was playing pretend too. But neither of them had to pretend to be having a good time. That part came naturally. They even agreed to hang out again on the very next day. Aladdin was so excited, she ran to find the genie to tell him everything. <laughs> hey, genie! It's gone! What's gone? The lamp! So, uh, basically my house and my entire identity! It's gone! Oh, gone! What? 
The lamp genie was very upset, as you can see. This is unprecedented! I don't know what the rules are with this sort of thing. I don't even know if I'm still a magic genie without my lamp. Aladdin, wish something to test my powers. But then I'd waste a perfectly good wish. Oh, forget it. It's no use. I don't feel magical anymore. Look, I can barely even fly around. Why don't we ask the ring genie? The ring genie? Ring genies don't know nothing. Hi there. Ooh, nice digs. Oh, great. Lamp Genie's here. I guess I'm not needed. Actually, Lamp Genie lost his lamp. Don't tell him that. You don't say. Well, well, well. Lamp Genie's not so big and powerful without his lamp, huh? Gosh, I didn't realize there was such a rivalry between the genies. I told you not to bring the Ring Genie into this. Hey, I'm only trying to help. Ring Genie, can you help us get back the lamp? You already used your wish. Remember? I can only grant one. <laughs> one wish. That's all you've granted me so far. Well, there are extenuating circumstances. There he goes, showing off with his big words. Typical magic lamp, Genie. Okay, guys, that's enough bickering. He started it. Zip it. Okay, lamp, Genie, are we 100% sure it's gone? I looked everywhere. Someone stole it! <gasps> Probably Mustafa! A. Mustafa doesn't know where we are. And B. I never would have invited him to the cupcake party. He wouldn't get past security. Aw, you had a cupcake party and didn't invite me? Was it fun? So fun. We made a giant cupcake. <laughs> Aw, that sounds awesome. Forget about the cupcake. I need my lamp. Hey, you got the lamp. Yes. I had to take matters into my own hands, Rami. Now the lamp is back with its rightful owner, me. So I guess you're not gonna pay me now, huh? Definitely not. Oh, but before you go, watch this. This is gonna blow your mind. Remember when I said not to rub the lamp? Well, that's because it's a magic lamp. And when you rub it three times, a genie pops out. I said a genie pops out. Is this thing on? Well, uh, I'm just gonna go. Uh-uh-uh, no you don't. Give me back those prince clothes. Here, you can wear this home. World's best grandma? Rami was sad. He didn't even have any money to bring back to his family, and he didn't have his fancy clothes. He was supposed to hang out with Aladdin the very next day. Aladdin will never believe I'm a prince now. So, the next day, Rami didn't show up for their date. Aladdin didn't know what to think. She went to tell the genie all about it. He would know what to do. But when she found the genie, she saw he was even sadder than she was. <sighs> genie, genie, are you okay? I need my lamp, Aladdin. What's a genie without his magic lamp? We'll get the lamp back, I promise. How? We don't know where it is. We don't know who took it. It's hopeless. <laughs> Cry? Why don't we try a new lamp? How about this lamp over there? It's nice. Is it a magic lamp? No, but it's shaped like a monkey, and that's fun, right? I need my lamp, Aladdin. I'm a magic lamp genie, not a monkey lamp genie. Well, I'm sad too. I was supposed to have a date with Rami, and he never showed up. I thought we really hit it off. That's it. He's the one who stole my lamp. Prince Rami? No way. Think about it, Aladdin. You never heard of that guy before, and he just shows up and then disappears. You know what also disappeared? My lamp. But he seems so nice. We have to find him. Let's go. But Aladdin and the lamp genie weren't the only ones looking for Rami. Mustafa had decided he'd need the fake prince's help one more time. Listen, kid, I need your help. There's a genie that's supposed to be in this lamp. I think he's hiding at Aladdin's palace, and you're going to go in and get him for me. Rami wasn't so sure about Mustafa's plan. But I can't go back to the palace. Aladdin and I were supposed to have a date and I didn't show up. She's probably mad at me. Well, just bring her flowers and say you're sorry. I don't know. 
Rami thought about it. He did want to see Aladdin again, but he didn't want to kidnap a genie. Finally, he agreed to go. Rami changed back into the prince outfit and was just about to leave when he overheard something interesting. Then when Rami brings me the genie, I'll wish to become king of the whole world. I'll be the evilest king in history. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, I better work on my evil laugh. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Oh no. Rami hightailed it to Aladdin's palace. That means he ran really fast. But when he got there, the guards were not so welcoming. Hi, I'm Prince Rami, here to see Aladdin. Queen Aladdin has put you on the no list. What's that? If you ask to come in, we say no. Oh, can you tell her I'm really sorry about yesterday? No. Well, can you just tell her that Mustafa is trying to steal the genie? He wants to use his magic to become the evilest king of the whole world. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Are you the magic genie? Cool. Yeah, but excuse moi did you say Mustafa wants to use me to become an evil king bent on world domination? Yeah! Come with me! Inside the palace, the genie grilled Rami. How can I trust you? You're the one who stole my lamp, right? I was supposed to, but I didn't. Mustafa did. So, you're friends with Mustafa, is that it? No, he just offered me money. For my family. But you don't need the money. You're a rich prince. Actually, I'm not really a prince. You're a liar, liar, pants on fire too, huh? No, I mean, I guess that was a lie. Yes, but I really like Aladdin, and I just want to tell her the truth. I'm listening. Aladdin! Rami, you hurt my feelings when you didn't show up yesterday. Aladdin, I wanted to, but I didn't want you to know I'm not really a prince. I thought you wouldn't like me. You look like a real prince. All right. Mustafa gave me these clothes. I'm really just a poor peddler. Well, you never should have lied. Just be yourself. That's easy for you. You're a beautiful queen. Beautiful? <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> but Rami, I'm not a real queen. What? I made a wish on the magic lamp. I'm really just like you. You are? Yeah, and I still want to go on that date. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. <laughs> of course I do. I think you're the best. How romantic. Hello, what about Mustafa? He wants to capture me and use my magic to take over the world. All right. We need a plan. Wait, I got it. We can use the ring genie. Why? Trust me. Meanwhile, Mustafa was getting impatient. Where is Rami? He should be back by now. He paced around, getting angrier and angrier uh, by the minute. That's it. I'm going to find that genie myself. But when he went to open the door, Rami burst in. I got him, Mustafa. I got the genie. And the fun begins. Bring him here. Let's put him back in the lamp. Come in, genie. I'm here, the genie of the magic lamp. Now, who has a wish? Mustafa was so excited that the magic lamp genie was finally there to grant his wishes. Well, it was actually the ring genie, but he didn't know that. How many wishes do I get? Three? Can I wish for more wishes? Only three. Choose wisely. Okay, I wish to be king of the world. Well, that was fast. Okay. Alakazam, pow! Wish granted. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> now, you may have noticed that your house didn't turn into a palace. Yeah. What's up with that? You didn't wish for a palace. I didn't know I had to be so specific. Okay, I wish for... No, 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 no. Don't waste a wish on something you can just take. You're an evil king, remember? Let's go take Queen Aladdin's castle. Ooh, yeah. And then after I take her castle, I'll lock her up in a dungeon forever. At this point, kids, you might be frightened for Aladdin. I mean, Mustafa said he was going to take the palace and lock her in a dungeon. But I have a feeling this is all part of Aladdin's plan. Let's keep reading and see. Mustafa and the Ring Genie went to Aladdin's castle. Move. Oh, there you are. Hello, Aladdin. Oh, no. It's Big Bad Mustafa. That's right. I'm the king of this castle now, and you're getting locked in a dungeon forever. <laughs> Oh no, not a dungeon. Yeah, a dark, stinky dungeon. Come with me. Oh, wait, where is your dungeon? In the basement? Or maybe out back near an alligator-filled moat? Oh, this place doesn't actually have a dungeon. Rookie mistake, I guess. Pathetic. But I guess you could just, like, lock me in a room and we'll call it a dungeon? Fine. And 
just as Mustafa thought he was about to lock away Aladdin forever and ever, the real lamp genie popped out. Who are you? I'm the genie of the magic lamp. No, you're not. That's the genie. That's the ring genie. He's basically powerless. Like, zero magic. Hey, I thought you tricked Mustafa. That's right. Be nice. But I'm the evil king of the world. He granted my wish. Look, I have a crown and everything. I bought that at a costume shop. You're not the king of anything, Mustafa. And now you're going to stay locked up in this room until you learn your lesson. Rami, let's go. What is he doing here? I'm here for my date with Aladdin. He's not a real prince, you know. He's a common ragamuffin. I know. So am I. Toodaloo, Mustafa. And so Aladdin and Rami left Mustafa behind and went out for some ice cream. Ring Genie and Lamp Genie went along too to celebrate the victory over Mustafa and to try ice cream, which, being genies, they never had before. Whoa! This stuff is delicious! <laughs> right? <laughs> Guess you miss out on a lot when you live in a lamp. <laughs> now, I can't believe people don't just wish for ice cream, like, all the time. Hey, Aladdin, why didn't you just make a wish to beat Mustafa? And waste a perfectly good wish on him? No way! Well, what are you gonna wish for? More ice cream! I don't know. I feel like I already have everything I could want. And if I use all my wishes, then we won't get to hang out anymore, right? That's true. I would go back in my lamp and wait for my next wisher. And then I'd miss you. I'd miss you too! All of you! Even Ring Genie! Maybe. Aw, so sweet. Okay, so that settles it. No more wishing for a very, very, very long time. Cool. Oh, wait, actually there is something. Remember when you mentioned wishing for a unicorn? I think I'd like to use my second wish for a unicorn, <laughs> but then no more wishing. You sure? Yes, I officially wish for a beautiful unicorn with rainbow hair that I can brush and braid and oh, she should have wings so I can fly around with her. I think that's technically a pegacorn or an alicorn. Whatever. Okay, wish granted. Yay! Okay, unicorn time! Whoa. It was a happy day for Aladdin and the gang, and more happy days followed. Aladdin and Rami got married. And here are the rings. I now pronounce you married. The end. Hi guys, it's me, Miss Booksy, and welcome back to Cool School. Have you been watching me and Aladdin? So many of you asked us to do that story, so of course we wanted to. There are more chapters coming soon, but first, I wanted to jump in and give you a little behind the scenes of Aladdin's top five tips for making wishes. Just in case you find yourself in the company of a genie and need to make a magic wish, <laughs> follow these tips. Okay, so as you guys know, I've only made one wish so far in my story. Hint, hint, more to come. <laughs> So I'm no expert, but here's what I think so far. Tip number five, make sure you are super clear with the genie. You really don't want to wish for one thing and get something completely different. I wish for something really soft and cozy for me to sleep with every night. Oh, absolutely. You must always be warm and cuddly when you are going night night. Tip for making wishes number four, make one of your wishes something really yummy. I wish for a giant chocolate chip cookie with chocolate fudge icing and a whipped cream swirl with sprinkles and gummy bears and a drizzle of peanut butter and a little dusting of marshmallows and candy cane. Whoa, yummy. Tip number three, if you feel like being a really good friend, you could always share one of your wishes with someone else. It's really nice to share. And you know what they say, sharing is caring. Mom, you're like the best, and I know you've been really, really, really wanting that one thing, so you can have one of my wishes. Wow, well, okay then. I wish. Thanks so much, Aladdin. You're the best. Tip number two for making great wishes. Take your time choosing what your wishes are. You don't want to just shout them all out there and regret your decisions. Okay, I wish for a stick, a rock, and a pencil. Oh man, what did I do? This stuff is lame-o. I should have taken more time. Why? Why? Okay, and finally, my tip number one for making wishes, always, 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 at least try to ask for more wishes. I wish for another wish. I told you, you can't do that. Okay. How about now? No. Now? Nah. Another wishy wish? Uh uh uh. More wishy wish wishes? Uh uh. So I guess that's a no. Yeah. Yes? 
You mean, yeah, like more wishes? Mm. Ah! Hi, Aladdin here, and welcome to my palace. <laughs> Come on inside. <laughs> if you watched my story, then you've already seen some of my palace, but now I'm going to give you the grand tour. First up, here's what I like to call the fun room. This is where Rami and I and the genies like to hang out. It's got video games, lightsabers, and a ball pit. Okay, next check out the kitchen. I know, I know. That sounds boring compared to the fun room, but this is no normal kitchen. We have a multi-flavored ice cream machine, a pizza oven, and a giant waffle maker. I mean, what's better than a waffle? Answer, a giant waffle! Don't worry, we get plenty of exercise too. Check out the gym. There's a rock wall, a dance studio, and no home gym is complete without a trampoline. Oh, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> and last but not least, let's see the backyard. When I made a wish to be a queen with a palace, the genie totally could have given me like a basic castle, stone walls, moat, etc. <laughs> but the lamp genie totally hooked it up. I mean. Look at this! There's a giant pool shaped like the tar! A roller coaster, ah! and a water slide. Well, that's my palace tour. I hope you had fun. Come back soon! <laughs>